Like sometimes your outfit's just too sexy. You want to put something over it, you know, until you take pictures or something, and then you'll be like, bam, you know. <laughs> your girl Taylor and I'm back with another video I know I've been MIA but <laughs> life be life in okay if you know what I'm talking about let me let me get a witness so <laughs> let me get a witness okay um but today I have a Shein home for you guys uh I love Shein um some strange business practices you know yeah but what can I say I'm a girl on a budget people want to talk about fast fashion um, I would love to have that conversation um, and to dress, you know, super sustainably, you know, and shop with such compassion, but I'm working my way up there. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the stuff I do have from Shein, in my opinion, has lasted a long time. You know, like I can wash it, especially like jewelry and stuff. I love my accessories um, from Shein. And um, a lot of the times when I really want something and I just can't afford like, you know, the real thing, um, I think Shein has some great dupes. Sometimes they do something, an, an interpretation of something so well, I don't even want the real thing anymore. So, um, but it's different enough where it, does, it doesn't feel like it's a dupe. It feels like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I'm saying. I don't think Shein's going out anytime soon. I really like Shein. Um, y'all know me, my number one is Forever 21. That's my favorite. Then um, Fashion Nova, I like Fashion Nova, but I like Shein's prices more. And they're very fast with the shipping and I love the free return shipping. You're not gonna get that at Fashion Nova. They're gonna charge you $7.99 to ship and they're only gonna give you a store credit. They are not going to give you your money back. Okay, unless they did something wrong um, or it was defective, they'll, they'll give you a refund then. But other than that, they're only giving you a store credit. So let's start with Shein. I'm gonna start with accessories first. Um, I was gonna start with jewelry, but I think they must've gave this to me for free, like a makeup brush. Um, leave in the comments if you've ever tried any of Shein's uh, beauty products, because they just gave me this for free. Maybe I've purchased too many things from there. But um, I'm a gold girl. Um, actually, all of my jewelry, my necklaces here are from Fashion Nova and my earrings are from a company called Solato. But for this video, just to not confuse you guys, I'm gonna take all of that off right now. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with these um, kind of drop earrings from Shein. Y'all, I didn't really care for these because they weren't what I was expecting. Like I, I'm such a gold girl that I'm trying to um, get more silver in my closet just because some sometimes I just feel like silver is the way to go. Gold doesn't match the vibe that I'm going for. But these, I don't know. I just didn't feel like they did very much for me. You know? I don't know, that could just be my opinion, but I didn't feel like they did very much. And then I got them in gold as well. And I don't know about these, but they'll do for now. You know, maybe if I'm going to church or something, they're very conservative. But to be honest with you, if I could have returned these, I probably would have, even though it's jewelry. Okay. Uh, speaking of, of silver, y'all, I got this kind of like acrylic, super cheap chain. And to my surprise, I have worn this chain so many times because it's actually really cute on. And I'm, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. The gold one, not so much. I haven't worn the gold one because the color is off. Like it's, I don't know if it's turning colors or what. Ugh. The only thing is I will say they made the clasp for this very small for such a big chain. Can I get it? Can I get it? Y'all, I love this. Like, I have been wearing this with like mock neck shirts. Um, and I love it. Like this, I don't think this was like maybe th even $3. And I try to get it flat, but I don't know if you noticed the chain in the middle is like the biggest link. 
sorry, the link in the middle is the biggest link. And um, it kind of gradually gets smaller. But I really like this. And I have another really um, fancy chain that I got from Forever 21 when I was in college. But I've had that so many years, I'm trying to preserve it for as long as I can. So for more casual like daily wear, I got this just to try it out. And I was pleasantly surprised. Like it's actually really cute. And every time I wear it, despite it being so cheap and like plasticky sounding and looking, it's still a vibe. It's still a vibe in my opinion. So, um, good job, Shein. And then I also have it in gold, but I haven't worn the gold. Like I haven't even taken it out the package because, um, look at the color. Like it's already like fading, you know? And y'all excuse my nails. Y'all know I don't like to get my nails done. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be better about that this year though, but, uh, I'm just putting this on any kind of way. I'm not really putting a lot of effort into putting this on because I most likely will be donating this. Maybe I'll wear it once or twice before I donate it, but I'm only going to wear it at night because maybe it'll be hard to notice that the color is already changing. That's weird. Maybe they didn't spray it or put enough gold paint or something on it, I don't know, but it's still really cute. It just needs, it's just, you can tell it was cheap. Like sometimes you get what you pay for, you know? Um, I'm gonna get into a necklace that I really did like though. Um, and then I think I have just like one or two more pair of earrings. No, I'm gonna do this choker first. This, I missed out when they were selling something very similar to this at Zara. I'm sure that one probably would have been better quality, but this one's also really nice too. It's just, I wanted it really tight, but it's a choker and it says, I think it says love or amour, something like that. I can't read it now that I have it on. Um, but I thought it was really cute. Um, and I will say, if you don't want to wear it like as a choker, like I really wish I could get this even tighter, but it doesn't go any tighter for me. Um, you can also kind of wear it like that as well. And sometimes I actually think I might do that, um, depending on what my hairstyle is. So let me know what you guys think of that one. And let me know if you recognize that they used to have something very similar to this at um at zara but i missed it because by the time i got really popular they weren't selling it anymore so um and then this necklace i really didn't need this but i was kind of intrigued because it's just like a long chain like a belt with a belt loop so basically how you put it on is like how you put on a belt basically you tighten it, you get this part like in one of the links. Is that, did I do it right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's how that's supposed to go. And I think that this would be really cute with like an all denim look. Yeah, I think this would be really cute with like an all denim look. I don't think um, I have it on correctly, but <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. Or just something where you have like a lot of cleavage showing. I think that that would be really fly. So I like that. I also have these earrings. I kind of like these earrings. They look like something my great grandmother would have worn in like when she was like a little older. So maybe like the 60s or 70s. Because she would have been like, you know, in her 40s by then. 40s, 50s, and I like these. I think that um, I would like them better when my hair is straightened, because even though they're simple, they're still a little bit loud. I don't know if you can see the texture on them, but they're like ridged, and they're also very lightweight. They're like hollow inside, but I like these. Um, so I'm gonna be getting some use out of those. And then, y'all, yeah, I tried to be cheap, because I really would love a Rolex, but I'm not spending you know, 20,000 
on a little, you know, girly Rolex. So I bought this to see what it was giving. And again, y'all excuse my nails, but, um, and it's way too big. Like I literally can put it on like this and you're supposed to be able to snap these kind of things on. So, um, I, I like watches. I will say I really do like watches. I think that they're um, important piece. And I think girls, you know, we wear watches too. I'm not one, you know, now, but like if I had a nice watch, I would wear it. I definitely think it's worth an investment. The same way I think, you know, a good purse is worth it. I definitely think a good watch, but I'm working my way up to that. <laughs> but it's really cute. Um, it's just, uh, it's too big. So I would have to get some, you know, latches taken out. And to be honest, after I do all that, I probably would have paid more than what I paid for the watch. I probably didn't pay more than six or $7 for the watch. And does it have batteries? Probably gotta, do I gotta get batteries put into it too? Shoot, let's be real. Who's really looking at my watch like that? Like, I probably don't gotta put, I don't even, really, it don't really have to tell the time. So, <laughs> it doesn't really have to tell the time. But yeah, I really wish I could have taken this back too, but I couldn't, I, I don't know if like Shein accepts, it's, I know for a fact I couldn't return these things, but I'm not gonna like, be, um, you know, say that blanket statement of like, oh, Shein doesn't return jewelry. Like you can't return jewelry to Shein. Um, I will say that I looked at these things first, the ones that I didn't like and I couldn't return them, but I don't know for a fact that Shein doesn't accept returns for jewelry, so. This I've already worn. I love these shades. I thought they were so cute, so retro, so my vibe. Love them. Mmm, cause look at the details. Like, y'all see that? Look at the, the nose piece. Yeah, I went to Magic City recently and no, I didn't go to the A. They bought the A to the A. If y'all saw um, what happened in South by Southwest where Jermaine Dupri, T.I., um, two chains, everybody was here for a premiere of the Freaknik documentary and the Magic City documentary. They bought the A to the ATX, okay? And I had a time. And I wore an outfit and I wore these glasses with a bunch of chains. It was given that kind of vibe, the 90s kind of vibe. And I still would, I still love shades. Like I'm obviously still wearing it today. So that was just a good time. And then um, lastly, um, and that's it for like the accessory jewelry. I just have one more thing I wanna show you um, from before I get into like the purses and stuff. But I have these sunglasses. I actually wore these today with this outfit. But um, I don't really know if they're super flattering for my face, you know, cause I have a lot going on with my hair and you know, everything like that, but they're, it's giving like motorsport, it's giving, you know, face mask. And I really like this. I've always wanted like yellow tinted sunglasses. And I think that these are the vibes. Let me know what you guys think, but I like them. I just think that I would like my hair to be a little more sleek. So maybe either straightened or pulled back or like, you know, a little low bun but I definitely think it's a lot like with my my hair like in twists and stuff. It's just a lot of clash going on. And I love my hair texture for sure. It's just that, you know, hair can be changed. So sometimes I wanna be sleek, sometimes I wanna be exotic like I am now, you know? And then I might have to take off my shirt for this one. Okay, y'all. Um, I do have on a sports bra, so don't think that I'm, you know, getting naked for y'all, because I'm not, um, yeah, I do not want to see that, and neither do I, okay? But I got these, like, sheer gloves, because, I don't know, I've always wanted to do, like, a cute look with sheer gloves, and these are nice, like, they kind of go up really far. Y'all see that? Kind of wanted to see what it was giving. 
And again, I don't know when or where I would wear these or if I would ever wear them at all. I thought I had just gotten one, but two pair came. So I was like, whatever, I must have got two because I don't think they accidentally gave me another one. But um, yeah, I like these. And the thing is, they go all the way up, so that's a look. But if they kind of, you know, scrunch down, that's also kind of cute too. Like, you know, if they fall down and don't stay. And I'm a big girl who likes to, I thought I had some rings and stuff. Mate, hold on y'all, maybe, maybe I didn't show y'all everything because I could have sworn I, I got some rings. I just, I gotta find them, hold on. Okay, so I don't have like a ton, but oh, I, I got these rings and I do wanna show them to you really quick. So it was just two rings, um, but I'm one of those people, I don't know if it's giving like Marilyn Monroe or what, but I actually like um, to put rings on top of gloves. Like I think that that's really cute, you know? Um, they might fall off, but you know, that's something, you know, when you have a nice like manicure, pedicure, you know, why not show off your feet and wear off, uh, wear an anklet, you know? Um, and I feel the same way. When I have my nails done, I like to wear rings. I know that that's weird because I never get my nails done. That's why I really don't wear rings like that. I only really like to wear rings because I don't want to draw attention to how horrible my nails look, but I just don't like getting my nails done. Because I know that there, there's obviously an easy fix for that, but I don't know, every time I go in a nail salon, and I don't know if how many of y'all can relate, but every time I go in the nail salon, I feel like the prices get higher and higher and higher. And sometimes the people at the nail salon are just like so rude. If there's something wrong with the nails or it's my fault all the time. They're, you know, a lot of them now, they're like a little bit better. They have like bars and stuff. So they'd be giving you coffee, drinks, um, all that kind of stuff. But I just, the only time I've had an amazing experience at a nail salon was when I was in Miami. I went to a Russian manicurist for the first time. When I tell you, those women put such love and care into doing my nails, I was like, I really only want a manicure. They didn't even do any, no acrylics. They didn't do any of that, you know, all that fancy stuff. They did like gel and they did like regular real manicures. When I tell you, I didn't even recognize my hands I was like, whose hands are these? My hands look so good. And I've never had my nails last so long with just nail polish. Like there's gels, there's all this UV stuff nowadays. No, this lady put regular OPI nail polish and my nails lasted for almost a week before they started chipping. So I was like, I don't know what she did, but <laughs> she did something. So, um, but I will be working on that because I do think, you know, I try to have like a very put together appearance and I know that me having nice nails would add to the polished look, so. But let me know what y'all think about that. I'm not a big fan of, of getting nails and hair done. That's why I do my hair myself. I should learn how to do my nails myself. Okay, let's just, let's just get into the purses. I don't know why we're still in the accessories part. So I got this lip bag and I thought it was so cute because I like statement bags. Sometimes they just add a little, mm, to an outfit. Like there's a reason why Judith Lieber, even though her bags are crazy expensive, why she's still, um, why her stuff is still kind of popping to this day. Like people are still willing to pay those prices even though you can't fit a damn thing in those bags because most of it is the actual shape. Like the shape is so odd. Like it's just a statement, you know? But, um, sorry, I'm putting on the little Damn, this is so cheap. Like these don't even, <laughs> these aren't even like push pin. Like there's some kind of antiquated way of doing a bag. Yeah, this is the bag and this is the strap. I think this is really cute. I've always wanted like a statement lip bag. Um, I think this maybe was $5. I thought it was well worth it. Yeah, it's it's very flimsy. Don't get me wrong. Like, don't be thinking that this is about to be, 
you know, a $50 bag. Like the quality's not there, but I mean, it was $5. What do you expect for $5? What do you expect for $5? I didn't have high expectations, um, but I like this bag. I'll definitely be wearing that soon. You just gotta be careful because the way that this bag is shaped, stuff can fall out very easily. Um, and then kind of in that same family, because I was looking for a red bag specifically, I got this heart bag and I've already worn this bag and I like it. And surprisingly, I was able to fit a lot in here. And I think that maybe this was like 10 or $11. Again, not the best quality. Like you see, it's already like bending and creasing and you know, just doing some strange stuff, even though I've only worn it once. But you can make the bag shorter and kind of just have it be like a top handle. You can have it how I have it here. I really like this bag. I've been getting, you know, I, I plan on getting some more use out of this bag. Like I said, I've only worn it once, but I was able to fit quite a ton in this bag. And I definitely think you guys should try it out as well. I will say it does look like some of the color of my, I was wearing like a black outfit. It looks like some of the color kind of wore off on it. So be careful about wearing this with like your denims or your, you know, freshly black outfits, like, you know, outfits that you haven't like washed yet. Um, some of the dyes still might get on it and transfer, but um, overall, I really like this bag. And like I said, I'll be wearing this a, a lot more. This bag I just wore recently. I went to a basketball game and I wore this bag. This is like a dupe of that Bottega bag, if you know what I'm talking about, like the really large pouch. And I knew for damn sure I wasn't paying that. Whatever that price was, I knew for damn sure I wasn't paying it. Yeah, because no, like because no. So um, I got this, I also got it in bronze too, but I returned the bronze because it was supposed to be gold and it was giving bronze, okay? So technically it was gold, but it looked more bronzy to me and I didn't want that. I wanted a gold bag. So I ended up just keeping the silver because the silver definitely gave silver. Um, and it opens very easily. It has no pockets or anything. But when I tell you, you could fit your whole life in here, you really could. You really could. Um, so be careful about that because it doesn't come with any straps. Like if you fill this up, you're still going to have to hold it in your hand. And, you know, be careful just because you can fit a ton in here doesn't mean that you probably should. Um... Okay, I think that's all for those type of accessories. Now let's get into some hats. Y'all, I got so many accessories, ridiculous. But I told you I really liked Shein's accessories, right? Okay, you guys, now let's get into some hats. But And then pretty much that's all I have until I get to close, I think. Okay, so this one is giving a Black Panther because I love berets and y'all I know this is the wrong hairstyle for this so I don't even know if this is gonna fit because when I when I was wearing these I had um, my hair straightened but you get the vibes right like I'm sure I could like make this fit but I just kind of don't want to right now <laughs> but um I got this beret because I've always wanted a leather beret and just use your imagination to see how this would look um, if it actually fit on my head because I have a lot of hair um, right now. But this is how it looks. Um, it's definitely adjustable. So if your head is smaller, you can like adjust these straps and then, you know, tighten it, etc. So I liked that. Um, and I also got it in red as well. Um, they were only like maybe five dollars each. The red though is a little off in the color. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend whoever I got the red one from. And the red one also has a very strong smell. Whereas the black one has no smell. So you gotta be careful sometimes. This would be so cute with one of those red bags, don't you think? It's still really cute. It's giving like very 90s. So again, just use your imagination because I can't really fit this on my head right now with this hairstyle, but um, that's what it is. It's just that the, the color is off. Like one side is like very bright, vibrant red and the other side's kind of 
dark, like some kind of color transferred over onto it. So I'm not too sure what happened there. I couldn't tell you. <sighs> okay, next we have another beret. And I kind of contemplated getting this in the dark denim as well, but this one definitely fits. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's, that's mad cute. It's giving Beyonce in, um, do y'all remember the Bonnie and Clyde video? I feel like she was wearing like a beret in one, in like one scene. So I put this on my life. I promise no one. Wait. I prom promise nobody. No one. No promise nobody. Oh, there we go. I put this on my life. I promise nobody will ever come between us, and I promise to give my life. Yeah. Yep. This is mad cute. Why haven't I worn this already? I feel like I'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow. That's cute. I love a beret. Like it just does something to me and it does something for me, okay? Um, and yeah, they had it in dark denim too and I, I see that I probably should get the dark one as well. And this, like we're getting into the spring now, but <laughs> I've had these for a few weeks. I love these hats. Like, I feel like this was so on trend. And these were maybe like $12, $11, maybe less than that. I think the, the other one I paid like nine for it. I love this. They had several colors, but I decided to kind of stick with the neutral vibes, like the kind of teddy bear vibes. And I love this hat. I've, and you could like put it up like this. Fly fly and when i tell you it just adds a little extra je ne sais quoi to your outfits but you know exactly what it is it's not no i don't know what it is like it's the hat so <laughs> but it adds that little spice and this one i also really liked fly like you can't tell me this isn't fly i love this Mm -hmm. And again, you know, if you want to get it out your eyes, like you can fold it up. Eh. Okay. Damn, that was a lot. I hope y'all actually sitting here watching this whole video because I know this was long as hell. And then I'm gonna have to link all of this stuff. My gosh. Okay, let's get into some of the clothes now. Y'all, I got so much going on right now. Like, this is such a strange setup because my office is packed full of stuff. I can't shoot in my office, but. This is the first outfit. I know what y'all thinking, what the hell is going on here, okay? But I actually, for some reason I was drawn to this, like it's giving like, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, there's a mirror over here. Um, I don't really know what it's giving, but I like the color. You know, it's so strange. Like, I feel like gray is a very understated color. It's like often underestimated. People don't really think of gray when they think of neutrals. They think of black, they think of beige, they think of nude. Um, but me, I always like gray. Gray is one of my favorite neutral colors. Um, and I got this, it's a little odd because it's like a bikini. Um, it's a little bit large for me because it's like a slinky material, but with this kind of little shawl thing going on, you can't tell that it's a little too big for me. Um, and then the bottom is of course not too big because I'm toting a wagon, okay? But um, I thought it was cute. It has like a little ruching at the ankles and um, you know, material where you can tie it in a bow. I, I think with the right hair and the right outfit, this could kind of hit, like, sorry, wait. The right hair and the right occasion, this would really hate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm gonna do a little 360. I will say, unfortunately though, it is very um, thin. Uh, so you can see through it. So you have to be careful about the underwear that you're wearing. I'm wearing black underwear, so it's not like super where you can see it, but you know, just be careful. Like don't think you can wear like any underwear. You have to be very strategic about the underwear that you wear. But it's a nice slinky material. I definitely think it looks more expensive than what I paid for it. It's just, you'd have to do a lot with like the accessories, with the hair, the makeup, to really make this, you know, um, give it its due justice, 
you know you'd have to do it justice with all of those extra things because on its own you know it's it's okay again but i mean i'm not very busty so that could also be part of the you know situation but i still really like it enough to keep it okay so we're moving on to the next thing the first few items i'm going to show you um are all sets because it just makes it easy you know Next we have this other two-piece set. It's kind of like a coral orange color. I don't really like it. It's giving like sexy, but you know, effortless at the same time, you know? Because the the top is kind of like scrunched up and ruched, and then these skirts ruched at the sides. Y'all, I don't know why I do this every video, but I either eat or drink something before these videos because of the way that the time falls. So unfortunately, my stomach's not on flat flat because I have barely been exercising and I just ate and drank a glass of wine. So that's on me. That's on me. But if you can put that aside for a second and just focus on the outfit, I really like it. I love a two piece because it just makes it where you don't have to think so hard. You know, you throw in a good bag, a good shoe, do your hair and your, um, your makeup. You don't have to think too hard. You know it's it's pretty much an outfit already you know so I really like this I'm not sure where I would wear this to um, I definitely think it's a great summer outfit for sure um I have on a thong with this right now and I will say I'm struggling trying to figure out what's the best underwear to wear with this because I feel like I can see um, not the color of my underwear but I can see the lining but I'm not sure I'm, and I'm not really a space person, so I will say that I'm not sure exactly what type of undergarments to wear. I might have to go commando, but that's not really my vibe. But I really do like this, and I also like the material as well. And I will say whatever kind of elastic thing this is um, on the waist, it's not giving me muffin top. Like, I I just ate, okay? So that's, that's its own issue. But I will say it's not too tight on the waist. I, I would recommend this. I think this would look cute. Yeah, I might have to take myself on a solo date. <laughs> okay, I think this is a really cute set. It's navy blue, if you can't tell. Um, and it's just like a tube top, but it has splits on the side. You may not be able to tell that either, but it has splits on the side. The pants are kind of like 70s bell bottom. And I bought this in several colors, but I ended up returning all of them and kept this one because something about the navy blue, I've always liked navy blue. Um, I think that navy blue and black, you know, black always wins, but I really like navy blue. And I think that this is just doing a little something for me. And I think with a nice red lip, just kiss. I can't wait to wear this. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it, but I think this would be cute. You know, if you, if you would think one, outfits like this always flatter you. I will say in the back though, this kind of keeps scrunching up. So I don't know how cute it looks in the back, but in the front, it's definitely doing a little something something. So this might be one of my favorites so far. So. Okay, so next we have this dress. I really like this dress. Um, it is like kind of lightweight, so you know it wasn't expensive, but I feel like the overall silhouette and like cut of it, and like the sweetheart neckline, um, it's giving, especially for somebody who has a smaller bust like myself. I actually really like this, I like the color. I would actually consider getting this in other colors as well. Um, so, I think I got this in a medium. Yeah, I think I got this in a medium, and I really like it. I actually feel like I can wear this year round, like I could wear tights with this, but I prefer to show my legs, so I think spring, summer, fall for this, at least where I live in Texas. I can't speak for everybody else, but I really, really do like this. It's kind of tight at the top. It flows down. Um, it's like a knit, kind of a acrylic sweater material. Um, let me show you the back. Yeah, it's conservative. It's giving, you 
know, just a little sexiness here in the cleavage area. But other than that, it's coming kind of like mid-calf. I really, really like this. And like I said, I think I would consider buying more colors. Like, let me wear this first and see how I feel about it. Like, I can even wear this to church. You know? I like it. Y'all, I swear, next time I'm going to do this in my bedroom because I feel like it's better lighting in there. Um, this is kind of just too... Well, die just now. This is kind of too um, big of a space for you guys to see the outfits clearly, but um, I really like this set. I originally also bought it in white, but I returned the white and just kept this nude because I feel like this is something I can wear separately or I can wear together like how it is. I honestly would not wear heels with this. I would wear flats because I, uh, I don't know. I just feel like... When something's long, I kind of want it to be low to the ground, you know? If this skirt was longer, sure, I would wear the heels no problem, but at least on my frame, I'm 5'5", five, five, and I think maybe if I wasn't so thick, this actually would hit the ground, but I I just don't see myself really wearing this with heels. Um, I really like this, though. I love how it kind of just, like, it snatches up here at the neck, snatches up here at the side, snatches up here on the side of the skirt. I really like this. And if you're ever having a good day where your abs are popping, the body's popping, this is a good outfit to pull out. I love this. I really love this. I think I would even order this in more colors. I really liked the white. I was so surprised when I didn't like it when it actually came, but I honestly was only going to buy the white. I bought this just kind of to see, but I ended up keeping this one and returning the white, but they had a few other colors. I think I would consider trying some other colors, maybe even black, I don't know, but I really do like this. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys, so next I have this shirt the jeans are not from Shein, these were made in Margiela, but um, I didn't have any pants that I purchased from Shein, so um, I had to kind of throw on these jeans that I wore earlier today. But this shirt I really like, it's like a crop top, but look at the back, you guys. You see how the back has like two straps and they kind of loop around? So it kind of like has the neck, It'll, it's almost like jewelry. It's like a necklace, with the way that it comes down. I think it's really cute and here's like a side profile where you see the strap kind of comes across like this I really like it I already wore it to a basketball game last week and I just felt really comfortable in this I honestly thought about getting other colors but I was like chill relax like you're fine with this if anything I would get like the brown like they have like a tan kind of beige color I liked that but they were sold out so I ended up just getting this one but I'm very happy with this if I only have this one that's pretty like I'm fine with that if I could just lose a few pounds I would be very very happy like I would wear this very happily <laughs> so um, let me know what you guys think about this but I honestly think it looks great with jeans but I you know I would be open to wearing it with like a maxi skirt or some shorts or something but you know when this is like very sexy even though it's very simple so I I kind of be careful I would want to kind of stay pretty covered um, on the bottom uh, that's my opinion so it's like either I would do jeans or a maxi skirt I don't think I would do a mini skirt I don't I don't it depends on the type of shorts but maybe not even shorts honestly y'all we are down to the last few items so um, this sweater I actually got quite a little bit ago, but I haven't worn it yet, so I still wanted to put it in the haul. But I love it. It's off the shoulder. Um, it has like split at the sleeves as well, which I thought was really cool. So, I don't know. I love off the shoulder stuff. The only con I have about this is you can't like make it lower if you wanted to because it has like the zipper. You know, like, I mean, you could, but it's just not cute. Like, I wish that it went down a little bit lower, but maybe, maybe some people are not, you know, wouldn't be into that. But it's like, you have to keep it buttoned up the entire way. Like, you can't be a little sexy and have it, you know, a little bit lower unless 
you're fine with the zipper showing, so. And I don't know if I am. It's not bad, it's just definitely not my preference, I would say that, but. It actually kind of looks cute with these jeans that I have on. So that might be a little elfy. But I really do like this. I love anything off the shoulder. I have very broad shoulders. So um, to combat that, like I've started to embrace the things that I don't really like about myself. Um, and I've started to like, I love mock necks. I love um, sleeveless tops and I love uh, off the shoulder shirts. Like I think that they, like, they really accentuate my shoulders. So yeah, it's cute. Let me know what you guys think about this, because they had it in a few colors. Should I should I double back and get it? I'm, I think I'm fine with the tan for now, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys, this is the last shirt. I actually really like this shirt, and I only got it for like maybe $5. I'm going to come closer, even though the lighting isn't as good. But it's like a cow neck type shirt. And what I like about it is it ties in the back. They had it long sleeve as well, but I decided to get this um, kind of off the shoulder one because, um, well, the other one was, you could kind of put it off the shoulder too, but it was long sleeve, but I decided to get this type because I felt like it was more neutral, like I could kind of wear it all year round. Um, but you can play around with it. Like you can have both shoulders down. Um, the way that it is, it still doesn't kind of expose too much under there. You can, Put it to the side you can have it how I have it which is kind of my favorite way kind of down like that like you can't tell me that you think this was five dollars because if it was a different material <laughs> I would have thought it was way more expensive than that like like honestly this is giving like a $40 shirt $50 shirt but if it was a better material it is already the, the reason why I'm saying $40 or $50 because it's a pretty nice material, but if it was like a satin or something like that, then shh, please. I like it because it just looks very like effortless. And y'all know that's my style. I like simple fashion. I don't like to be doing too much. I don't like to be going too hard. Um, sometimes I do put a lot of effort into my clothes, but I'd rather like hit you with the hair, the skin, the makeup and you know not do too much because I like to be comfortable in my outfit like I want to feel fly I don't want to be shifting things and itching and like I don't want none of that so an outfit like this is like right up my alley like put on a heel a cute bag totally my jam but let me know what you guys think and then the last item I have because I've always wanted a trench coat I got this trench coat and it was like maybe 20 something dollars, but I think that this is so worth it. Like, I feel like I'm gonna use this a lot, like in the spring. Um, it, it is like, it's not like a windbreaker material, kind of like how a regular real trench coat would be, but it's more like a duster type material. And I like it because I got a size medium. Um, you can button it, right? Oh, let me try to button it first before I say all it. Can button it and then you have the straps here you can you know cinch it at the waist um it has like these kind of strap things at the the wrist which are kind of um problematic because they don't stay oh i see there was another loop that I could put these through and they would definitely stay there. Okay, perfect. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but, so for now they're kind of doing this, but there's another loop that'll make it stay. So I really, I'm so glad I looked deeper because I thought that was just how things were. <laughs> but I really do like this and I think that this is gonna be really cute for like super short dresses or dresses I'm wearing with tights. Um, I think eventually it, it may make sense to invest in something a little bit more high quality or more durable that I can wear like in the winter or the fall as well. But like I said, I live in Texas. This is doing it for me. And sometimes you just want to cover up too. Like sometimes your outfit is just too sexy. You want to put something over it, you know, until you take pictures or something and then you'll be like, bam, you know, <laughs> but yeah, I like it. But you guys, that is all that 
I got from my Shein haul. I almost said Forever 21 because y'all know I love me some Forever 21. But this is from Shein. Let me know what you guys think. And um, be on the lookout for some more stuff for me. I uh, This was, you know, strictly a Shein haul. I think I'm going to have a Forever 21 haul coming up. And then like a collective haul of miscellaneous stuff from like maybe like H&M. Um, a few other brands, you know, a few knickknacks, like one-offs, like I bought here and there. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Bye!